In this video, I'm going to show you how to use material resources within Microsoft Project. So obviously there are three different types of resources in Microsoft Project. We have work resources, cost resources, and material resources. Work resources are people or things that we prorate over time. Cost resources are used to model fixed costs within your project. And material resources are used to track the materials that you're leveraging for your project that you want to track on a unit by unit basis. So let's get deep into material resources. Typically, if you're building a house or building something that takes raw materials, you want to track those using material resources. The other option, if you don't need that granularity in terms of how many of how many let's see square feet of concrete you need or how many bricks you need, you just say, I paid a contractor $50,000 for bricks, done. You could leverage a cost resource for that as a fixed cost. But if you need the granularity into how much of a certain product you leveraged, or if I need more of a product, how much that's going to impact my project cost by, you're going to want to use a material resource. All right, let's go in and build out some material resources. So I'm going to go to the resource sheet. And in here, I can see I have a selection of work resources. Those are the people or things that we're using prorating over time, $60 an hour. I'm going to create some work material resources now though. So I need bricks. I need concrete. I need lumber. It can be anything you like. All right. The first thing you need to do is switch out this type to be material, material. And you can even drag down just like you do in Excel, like so. And you'll notice that this column here is actually material label. You know, it just says material, which is kind of confusing, but if you expand it out, material label. What's the unit by which you want to calculate it? Could be pallets of bricks, could be numbers of bricks. I'm going to go for um, pallet. How much concrete? We'll do that by the square foot. Generally, you'll model this on, hey, I get charged by the pallet of bricks. It's $200 a pallet. I get charged $50 per square foot of concrete. So however you're being charged, model it that way. Makes it easy. What is the standard rate? How much do we pay for a pallet of bricks? Let's go with 200. How much do we pay for a square foot of concrete? Let's call it $32. Lumber. Oh, we need to track our label so we know. Lumber, it's going to be um, just uh, 10 foot poles. That's what we're going to have, right? And for each 10 foot pole, it's going to be $23. Great. A couple of other options here. You can uh, decide whether you want to prorate that to, are you going to pay your invoices at the end of the project or at the end of the particular task at the start? Would you want to prorate it if you're, you know, building the wall over the period of, you know, two weeks? As you get to the second week, you would have accrued one week of costs. So. You want to do it the moment you pay for it. Are you prepaying for your materials? Start. Are you paying for it over time? Quite unlikely, but if it's a long duration, then yes, you probably would be paying over time. Or do you want to just square up at the end? So it just lets you know when the costs in your projects are going to be realized. You know, you're getting pretty deep here, but you know, that's what that's what I do here. That's the only thing you need. Nothing else. All right, now we can go back to the Gantt chart and start assigning some material resources to our tasks. So for example, dig foundation, no, nothing necessary there. Lay rebar, nothing there, pour concrete, aha, perfect. Let's go ahead and assign some concrete. I'm gonna say it's probably gonna take us five days, not one. All right, so how much concrete do I need to do this, I'm actually going to go to the resource ribbon and I'm going to click assign resources. This gives us the assign resources dialog. This is one of my favorite ways to do this. So I'm going to come in and say, right, so pour concrete. I'm going to need some concrete. Assign that. How many units? Let's say 200 square feet. Boom. Instantly we can see it's going to cost us $6,400. Uh, the thing I like about this dialogue is I can actually come in and say, uh, erect the walls. We're going to need some bricks for that. How many bricks do we need? I'm going to say I need three pallets, let's say. Boom. I 
cost to calculate $200 a pallet, three pallets, you can even do 3.25 pallets if you like. And it'll calculate it accordingly. Not sure that you can buy a quarter of a pallet, but you get the idea. So that's it. And that is our materials. You can assign a material to a task and a person as well. Let's take a look at that. So erect walls. I'm going to say that Addison is going to work on that. Assign. And you can see because she's working full time on that, her hourly rate is $60 an hour. It's $480 for the one day period. All right. Thanks very much for your time. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Check back and I will show you more about assigning cost resources next.